When you think of countries with high-speed rail, Uzbekistan probably wouldn't even come to mind. But it probably should, because this is Uzbekistan's 250 km per hour capable high-speed train. Linking the historic city of Samarkand with the nation's capital Tashkent in just a little over two hours, this train is the pride of the Uzbek railways. So join me as we travel on board this fantastic train in the luxurious VIP class. It's going to be a great trip. Hello and good morning from the Grand Railway Station here in Samarkand in Uzbekistan. To enter the station area, there is a small ticket and passport check as well as back scan. It was quick on all my trips on Uzbek Railways, but I can imagine on busy days there could be a bit of a queue, so just plan ahead for it. I spent a few days here in Samarkand and I have to say the city is absolutely stunning. Filled with amazing monuments, in great condition. This has to be one of my favorite cities in Central Asia. But now it's time for us to leave and head up to the nation's capital Tashkent on board the Uzbek Railways high-speed train. Right, let's head inside the station. The signage here is also available in English, which is great for visitors like me. And wow, the inside looks just as stunning as the outside, and it's spotlessly clean. The station features plenty of seats, but I could imagine if a lot of trains are about to depart at the same time, it could get busy in here. There's also some ATMs. Which is great if you arrive on an international train, like the strange one I took in from Tajikistan a few days prior. I found it a bit strange that the departure board was located on top of a souvenir shop. And instead of showing the next departures, it seems just to be showing the general timetable. But my favorite feature of the station has to be this lovely map showcasing all the railway lines in Uzbekistan. It's actually rather extensive, connecting to most major cities. But most of it, unfortunately, isn't high-speed rail. Right, it's time for us to head onto the platforms. For such a large railway station, it's actually very quiet here. Sitting on platform number 2 is one of the regular speed Uzbek long-distance trains. These also run between Samarkand and Tashkent, but take somewhere around 2-3 to three hours longer, depending on the service. Unfortunately, I didn't get to try them out on this trip. The platform is soon filled with other passengers, as the train's arrival is announced on the loudspeakers. Despite our rather early departure time of 6.13 in the morning, our train arrives inbound from Bukhara, having started its journey there at 4.20 in the morning. This is one of Spanish rail manufacturer Talco's 250 high-speed trains, capable of, you guessed it, 250 km per hour. In total, Uzbekistan currently has six of these trains in either 11 or 9 car versions. And so it's time to board. There's a brief ticket and document check before you board the train, done by the carriage attendant. But once people have gotten off and your ID has been checked, you can just walk on board. I'm traveling in the exclusive VIP class today, featuring just 11 seats at the back of the train. By the entrance, you will find ample space to store your luggage, but there's also a shelf on top of the seats that can take quite large bags. We depart Samarkand one minute behind schedule at 6.14. Our departure is swift and we are quite quickly picking up the speed. And now that we have started our journey, I think it's a great time for us to take a look at the route map for today's journey. We are on board train number 765, which starts in Bukhara and makes one intermediate stop in Navoy before arriving in Samarkand. After a 10 minute wait here, the train continues running without intermediate stops all the way to Tashkent. The trip from Samarkand to Tashkent is scheduled to take just 2 hours and 16 minutes to cover 332 kilometers, 
which gives the train an average speed of 146 km per hour. Leaving Samarkand, we are running at speeds of up to 180 km per hour. Only parts of the railway line are actually dedicated high speed lines. But for some other parts, we have to share the track with regular trains. And I have to say, in these sections, these trains really rattle a lot. And this is probably partly due to the track's condition, but also due to the train. Talgo is known for their unique layout on its wheels, having only one between each carriage, which both carriages then rest on. This allows for a lighter train design and reduces wear on the tracks, but unfortunately it also comes at the cost of stabilization and comfort, making for a really poor ride on these Uzbek rails. But now for something much better. A small airline style meal is included with your ticket in VIP class, consisting of some small pancakes, two slices of bread, oranges, some butter and jam. It also comes with a hot drink, I went for some Uzbek coffee. It wasn't the best meal I've had on board a train, reminding me a lot of an economy class airline meal, but nothing tasted off and everything was perfectly edible. And how can you not enjoy having a meal passing through scenery like this? Right, let me show you around the train. This is VIP class, which is the highest offering on board. In between you will find business, which is laid out in this 1 plus 2 layout, mostly airline style seats with some base of 4. And finally we have economy, laid out in a standard 2 plus 2 layout, again mostly airline style with a few base of 4. Throughout the train you will find plenty of luggage racks, and various information displays showing the current speed, temperature and which wagon you are located in. There is also an onboard cafe, but the staff told me specifically I was not allowed to film that, so you'll just have to use your imagination. Strange. But luckily the staff had no issues with me filming the mandatory toilet review. The door is easily locked. The water is working. Plenty of soap in the dispenser. And let's check the flush. That is working as well, so good job Uzbek Railways. A larger accessible toilet can also be found on board next to the wheelchair spot in business class. It's a shame about the ride quality on board these trains, because the interior is honestly great. This wouldn't look out of place anywhere in the western world, and it's great to see that it can be brought to places like Uzbekistan. The railway here also has a great app, which easily allows you to buy tickets, as well as store them on your phone, check the schedules, including a somewhat working English translation. Time flies quickly on board this train, and we are almost in Tashkent, so it's time for me to show you the seat. It's a nice big leather seat, with a very plush back, soft armrests that can be moved, here you will find two power outlets, as well as the entertainment controls. Over here is where the recline button is. The seats are honestly great and more than good enough for this two hour journey. So what does all this cost? I paid 202,000 sum for this trip booked right when booking opens roughly six weeks before travel on the Uzbek Railways website. These trains are very popular and do sell out pretty much as soon as booking is open. So make sure to book ahead if you want a seat. And just like that, we are now approaching the railway station here in Tashkent. We pull into the platforms at 8.24, roughly running 5 minutes ahead of schedule. Despite the ride quality, this is definitely the best way to get between the two cities, and overall, this is one of the best train services in Central Asia. It's great to see it's so popular. And hopefully Uzbekistan can keep improving, buying more trains and expanding the offering to the rest of the country. Thank you so much for joining me on today's trip. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I try to post a new one every Sunday. You can also follow me over on Twitter at IntercitySimon. 
it's a great place to get a sneak peek at what videos might be coming in the future, as I usually post live for my travels there. Thanks for watching.